Вы говорили о том, что с июля... You've said that as of Yule 2020, the channels of Christianity and Judaism got disconnected. Does that mean that the egregors are inactive now? To what extent do they still have power over people? Less and less with each day. Let's take a look. I will talk about it one more time in short. Let's look at the Sephirot tree. There it is, thank you, colleagues. So look, the three lower branches that are stretched out towards the world of Malkuth. The world of Malkuth is our physical, manifested, so to say, world. And the three branches are the three channels to which the main Abrahamic religions are attached to. The 21st Arcana is Christianity, the 22nd is Judaism, and the 19th is Islam. They are now departing by seniority, meaning according to the seniority of consciousness. Judaism was here first, so it was cut off first, which means that they are not able to channel the informational currents of their system here any longer. Then Christianity was switched off, disconnected, so to say. They too are no longer able to channel the currents of their system here. And I gather that you all have noticed this. We have discussed this in part with our colleagues, that the second ring of proto-foundations, which is actually the domain of these systems, is becoming thinner and thinner. But there still remains the subject of Mohammedianism, or Islam, as it is called today. The 19th Arcana. They began later. They still have a certain amount of time left. And for now, they are channeling their ideology. Temporarily, not for very long, but they do have a little bit of time still. Judaism and Christianity, they of course are trying to jump over to that channel, because over there they would still have the ability to spread their algorithms. Everything that you see happening in the surrounding world is happening for that exact purpose. Judaism and Islam, the irreconcilable enemies, a year ago suddenly found themselves ignited with brotherly love and friendship and newly found collaboration. Israel suddenly stopped fighting and began to look for diplomatic solutions, trying to come to an agreement with the Arab countries. Although all that soon got halted, because there are certain systems which are absolutely not interested for the Judaic system to hop on to the 19th Arcana, because that would bring about a change in the ruling regime. And all these wars against Arab systems, they were similarly inspired in order not to let it happen. It is overall much simpler with Christianity. They have no conflicts with the Muslims. They have come to an agreement a long time ago in terms of how they are going to coexist. But in this case, the Christian channel attached to the 19th Arcana will only exist on this level as a freeloader. And you will see it in their behavior. Christianity will be giving up its positions. It is actually doing this already. For example, in European countries, you can see churches being turned into mosques. So this is the exact effect, such as we can't pull it off even financially. So maybe you can take over the rent and maybe you can give us, your poor relatives, some of your riches. But Islam has its flip side, just like any other system. The flip side of this channel is all too familiar to us and it goes by the name of Communism Socialism. And it is trying to get a hold of this channel to its sole individual use. They are the direct competitors of Islam, which we also are able to observe today with the revival of socialist and communist ideologies, for example, on the territory of the United States. There, Trotskyism and Leninism just somehow got all lit up in bright lights, and it's all exclusively for the purpose of not letting Islam to spread about, because socialism is the only counterweight for it. But even the 19th Arcana doesn't have long left, because it too has its own time limit, which they are also coming up against. And the channel itself is programmed in a way to be a cleaner program in relation to Judaism and Christianity, to switch them off from the 21st and the 22nd Arcana, which already happened. What will happen next is a self-wrap-up of this system. The two systems that find themselves there, the two opposing clans, the two branches, Sunnis and Shiites, once they fulfill their cleaning function, they will self-destruct, meaning they will destroy each other.
In that sense, the only one left able to preserve this channel will be socialism and communism, but even they won't be able to do it without sufficient nourishment. So at that moment, at the moment of the breakdown, the world of Malkuth will be disconnected from this entire upper structure of the Sephir tree and will get connected to a different system, a system that I have shown you before, the three circles system. The two channels that Judaism and Christianity used to be attached to have been already disconnected, and now new connections are being laid out on these channels, new links directly between the system of the three circles and the new operating system. That is where the thinning of the buddhic planes comes from, and the thinning of the egregorial world, because they have become three times weaker now. Meaning the buddhic plane is thrice as weak, because the two supporting channels are no more. There is only one left, and it is additionally tasked with supporting the socialist project. It of course will not last for long the way that it exists now, but certain algorithms that were acquired by Christianity, Judaism, Islam, as well as Zoroastrianism, Mithraism, and also Manichaeism, which actually is a modified form of communism socialism, all these channels, broken up into fibers, simply dismantled into algorithms, will be serving the new system as instruments. And if anyone is familiar with the topic that we're working through in our general theory of magic course, the switching of the circle places in particular, once the second circle of proto-foundation will switch places with the inner circle, it will mark the point of transition, the transition to another system, another operating system, when the proto-foundations love, hate, life, death become hierarchically higher than tradition, freedom, good and evil. And these informational packets will turn into mere instruments, which people will be able to use bypassing any religions, bypassing any governmental or systemic formations. They will just use them for life, for death, for love, for hate, meaning for science, for professionalism, in order to build a completely different reality which will have nothing to do with the principles of statehood nor religion. That is what lies ahead for us. And this all is, by the way, explained in great detail at our General Theory of Magic course, which is in part available through our Russian-speaking forum. The accessibility is not too difficult, so I welcome you all there. I very much hope, colleagues, that I provided an understandable explanation. Therefore, in this case, the influence of the Christian and Judaic channel is weak insignificant, unimportant, and it gets weaker by the day. Another thing is that we will have to witness or maybe experience aggressive behavior by the adepts of Islam, but that will not be long-lasting.